And good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Otis High School for today's big time small town production of Class 1A District 5 Volleyball Tournament action. Today we will have three matches here from Otis. The three teams in this pool. Otis, Idalia, and High Plains have already qualified for next week's regional tournament. Today is simply to determine the seedings for that regional play. Our first game today has Otis hosting Idalia. Uh, second match of the day will be Idalia and High Plains. And our final one today will be Otis and High Plains. We are getting the introduction of the starting lineups here. Youth served on both sides as six of the 14 combined starters are freshmen, three apiece. So uh, we expect good things out of both of these programs for years to come. I am Kerry Sherman. I will be guiding you through today's action here. I'm glad you have chosen to make us part of your Saturday morning. These two met back on September 21st. See if I can get my program back from the uh, public address. Can I get my program back? Thanks. That'll work. <laughs> It'll work. <laughs> Had to surrender the program for the introduction of the starting lineups. Got one back here, so now we can uh, rock and roll. This is fine. And again, like I said, these two met September 21st. Or rather, no. <laughs> Check out my notes here. Actually, they met October 5th, and Otis swept that one. That was in Idalia. Otis won by scores of 25-11, 25-13, and 25-14. They are 17 and 3 are the Lady Bulldogs. Idalia 13 and 6. That includes a four-match losing streak early in this month. Losses to both of their fellow competitors in this pool. It will be Idalia in their white tops. Their libero will be in maroon. Otis in their red tops. Their libero in white. Set to serve it up to open things. Number six. Reagan Schaefer. Emily Paulser gets the serve up. The first set to her, and she will put it down for the first point of the contest. Just looking to come out early and make a statement. First swing by Paulser. In for a kill. Mishandle of the serve. Means a free ball. Back set for Antonia, it's Antonia Shepard. And Antonia with the kill. Shepard, one of the three freshmen in the Otis starting lineup. That serve by Pauzer clips the back line for the ace. Handle of the serve by Denise Cano. It's a 4-0 start, and the sub coming in for the Lady Wolves will be Bryce Schaefer in place of Cano. Head coach Kylie Chamberlain, Chamberlain wasting no time going to her bench, and Schaefer will be tested right away. Free ball, bumped up by Patterson, set for Noble, off a tip, and pounded back by Patterson. Left hand hit by Kristen Mooney is dug up. Set outside for Patterson over the block. Dug in the back row. Again Mooney with the hit. Dug in the back by Schaffer. Who's set for Patterson. Off speed and down. It's 5-0. Schaefer 
Carter handles the serve, and then on the free ball, it's dumped into the net by Emma Divator. And Schaefer again has trouble with the serve. 7-0, and Schaefer will come back out, being replaced by Cano. Cano handles that serve, and Mooney with the outside attack, dug by Schaefer, but it'll find its way out of play, and Lady Wolves on the scoreboard. 7-1, to one. six of those points on serve by Emily Pauzer. Michaela Waitman drives one over, popped up by Noble, back set for Patterson, off the block and down. Kelsey Davis comes in quickly in the front line, replacing the libero, Shiley Kirby. Set in the middle, Divator down. Set a little off the net, but Divator able to get on top of it and hammer it straight down. And she'll handle the serving now. Popped up in the back row by Paulzer. Set in the back row for Patterson out. Divator still on serve. And that one will sail beyond the baseline. Haley Patterson with the serve for Otis, leading nine to three. Drives one deep, popped up in the back row by Reagan Schaefer. It'll be bumped over by Janae Terrell. And, and I think we've got a violation at the net against Kylie Koontz. Tried to go on two, and it was a violation. Kristen Mooney, jump serve, dug up by Patterson, set it for Noble, dug by the Libero, overpass. Koontz will set Davis, dug again by Weyerman. Terrell, dug. Shaffert will be dug by Mooney. And finally, Reagan Schaefer able to get the angle for the kill. It's now 9-5. Otis in front. It's a 5-2 run by the Lady Wolves. Mooney again. Freshman and this time cranks the jump serve out of bounds. So Mallory Noble. Her first time at the service line for Otis. In the back row by Wireman. Set near side. Swept over by number six, Reagan Schaefer. That's two kills in a row for Schaefer. And Denise Cano serving down by four. Pops one high. Schaefer handles it. They'll set Schaefer in the middle. Big swing dug by Mooney. And then Waitman could not handle the second pass into the crowd. Point for Otis. Lead back to five. And it's Kelsey Davis driving the serve deep, popped up by Mooney. Waitman bumps it over. Boots went on one, dug up. Reagan Schaefer dug by Patterson and then Otis in the net. Floor official says she coons backed into the net after dumping it over. And Janae Terrell, one of the freshmen for Idelia, gets it over. Back set for Shaffert, dug by Terrell. Outside for Schaefer, off the net, played up by Flager. Pauls are dug by Mooney. Waitman just tips it over. Big swing from Shafford, and it will make its way to the floor for the point. Yeah. 
Shaffer to the serve. Popped up by Cano in the middle. Set outside. Divator, she'll set it over. Short set for Palzer. She has to shoot it over and it will find its way to the floor again. Not the prettiest rally, but a point for Otis. They'll take it, leading by six. Shaffert served, dug up by Wireman. Waitman will set it outside for Smith, or Schaefer dug up. Patterson now, big swing, dug by Mooney off the ceiling. Wireman and Waitman will shoot, set it over. Set in the middle, Paulzard. And that one will come out of him back at Otis, but out of play. It's a 14-7 football score here in volleyball. Cano handles the serve. Waitman sets it near side, and when pulled Divator out of play, she had no angle to hit that one at. Shaffert again serving Cano. This one, a better set for Divator. She'll shoot, set it over. Outside, you know, set a little bit flat, but Paulser got a swing on it, and then hammers the over pass into the net, giving the side out to Idelia. It's a seven point game. Reagan Schaefer waiting for the whistle. Floor official conferring with the book, making sure things are set and we're good to go. Schaefer drives one deep, popped up by Schaffert. Coons will bump it over on the free ball. A quick middle for Divator, dug up. And Paulser off the block, out of bounds, point to Otis. Noble had a good read on that quick attack in the middle by Divator, and that kept the play going for Otis. That served by Paulser, misses the sideline. 16-9. Waitman checks in to serve. Drives one right into the net. And Davis will come back in in place of Flager in the Otis lineup, leading by eight. Coons dug up by Mooney. Waitman will set it and then bumped over by Schaefer. Outside for Patterson, never got on top of it. She was asking for a tip and the back corner official <laughs> Detected the tip and will give the point to Otis. Coons drives one. Bumped up back row by Wireman. Set near side for Stephanie Helling and she'll get it down inside the baseline. Divator serving down eight. Dug up in the middle. By Paulser, middle attack for Noble, stuffed right back at her by Janae Terrell. Terrell, rather. Patterson handles the serve and she'll set. Dug up. Mooney blocked back down by a combination of Davis and Noble. Still an eight point advantage for Otis. And Patterson to the serve. Drives one deep. Popped up by Reagan Schaefer. She'll get the back row attack and send it just long. Off speed serve by Patterson was dug up outside is Terrell. She's dug cross court by Shafford. Davis somehow got that one inside the antenna. It was dug up. Mooney cross court, dug by Shafford. Joust at the net, one by Davis. Mooney blocked again by Noble and Davis. Kept alive and Terrell couldn't get it over on the free ball. 10 point lead. Otis well in control here in set number one. Patterson again with a soft serve, dug up. Be set far side, Mooney, and misses the sideline. 
Cubs with the double up again. Now 22 to 11. Patterson still on serve. Uh, short serve brought Terrell up. And Noble will get the credit for the point on the overpass. Two points from a set victory. Here is Otis. And Patterson went back to a little more pace on that serve. Got the ace. And now we've reached set point. Lady Bulldogs in front, 24 to 11. That one may have been going out. Schaefer played it and then an illegal contact on the second hit. Otis wins set number one, 25-11. Back in a couple of minutes here from Otis High School. Wasson Construction is your one-stop shop with concrete work, drywall, flooring, roofing, and stucco. Everything including the final finishing nail handle projects throughout northeastern Colorado. You need to get in touch with Rick at Glossen Construction. Located at 801 East 4th Street in Akron. If Rick can't build it, no one can. Call 970-345-2087. From start to finish, trust Glossen Construction as your one-stop shop for construction. Call 970-345-2087. Akron Auto is proud to be the best pre-owned automobile dealership in northeastern Colorado. Quickly expanding, Akron Auto has two locations. The original on Highway 34 in Akron and a second on Highway 34 in Fort Morgan. Akron Auto wishes to thank local patrons for making their business possible and asks visitors to stop in and see what may be on the lot for you. Tax time is the perfect time to use your rebate on a car, truck, or SUV upgrade. Akron Auto, better for your budget. In 1916, it is estimated that producing 100 bushels of corn took approximately 35 to 40 hours. Today, it is estimated that producing the same 100 bushels takes less than three. A lot has changed in the last 95 years, but one thing has stayed the same. Farm credit is still the lender of choice for America's farmers and ranchers. We are passionate about agriculture and are dedicated to serving America in good times and bad. This is Jordan Wilkie in the Yuma Lending Office. Give us a call today to see how we can help you. Premier Farm Credit, the gold standard in ag lending. Welcome back to Otis High School. Teams only used about half of that set layover. We're back ready to go. Set number two, it will be Otis to serve it up first. And Tanya Schaffert. Angel hammer one, dug up by Cano, set outside for Mooney. Tipped, blocked back. Coons will set in the middle for Paulser. Big swing and down right in front of Reagan Schaefer. Otis started set number one out quickly, 7-0. It's a 1-0 start right now here in number two. Schaffert drives one deep, building in the middle by Wireman, set in the middle. Divator off the touch, dug up in the back row by Noble. He'll set it outside, a little miscommunication. Patterson will bump it over on the free ball. Quick set for Divator into the net. Wireman will bump up the serve from Shaffert and that one didn't handle it clean and Idalia struggling here early. Cano, overpass. Kirby will bump it up, set in middle for Paulser. Coons goes on two. Mooney on the outside. And tried to cut it on a sharp angle and hit it into the net. And official had to stop play and whistled it ready and then Coons Needed to tie a lace, so Schaffert drives the serve, popped up back row by Wireman. Set outside, Mooney dug in the back by Schaffert, off the ceiling, and Otis scrambling cannot get it back in play. So the run ends at four. Michaela Waitman. Try to get the Lady Wolves going on serve. Patterson bumps, 
Goes across, dug up by Reagan Schaefer outside. Mooney, too tall and out. Delia unable to put together some points on service this time. Balls are dug. And miscommunication again. And the Lady Wolves will say it cost them a point. Balls are still on serve. Wireman handles that one better. Waitman went on two. Dug up. Noble off speed dug by Mooney. They'll set Mooney. Goes left-handed and into the top of the net. Back on to the Idalia side. Very athletic freshman is Kirsten, Kristen Mooney. Having trouble getting going here. And that serve by Emily Balzer right at the line judge. And she had no idea. <laughs> the up official called it out. Giving the point to Idalia. And sending Divator back. Off the net and down for the ace. Emily Pulzer did not have a good read on the serve and it hit the floor in front of her off the net. Divator this time not so lucky. And she serves it right into the net. It's a five point Otis advantage. And Kylie Coons serve. Schaefer digs it up. Near side set for Mooney. Popped up by Davis. Patterson dug up by Waitman. And Terrell's attack goes about three feet long. And we've got a timeout by Idelia here from Otis High School. These days, there's no free lunch, no free ride, not even any free time. Well, at Bank of Colorado, we're putting an end to all that because our personal free checking and personal free collection serve up a whole lot of free. You'll start with free checking, free online banking, free telebank access, free pin pay, and more. Then when you add our personal free collection, you'll get a free savings account, free appraisal with your next mortgage, and more. So if you want to bring back the free, apply today to open a new account. Visit bankofcolorado.com and long live free. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. day of action here from Otis High School today. The Otis fans will see their Lady Bulldogs play two matches today and then their football team will take the field 2.30 this afternoon in a cross division game against Briggsdale. We will not have that football game on today. It can be found elsewhere on the internet though. Block. That was Davis blocked at the net. Mooney will go left-handed, and the three of the officials saw that attack hit the antenna. It's a 10-3 Otis lead. Coons still on serve. Dug up in the back row by Terrell. They'll set her, and the attack into the net. Coons goes cross-court on the serve. Dug again by Terrell. This time near side set Mooney. Dug up. One-handed stab by Davis. Set for, I believe that's Schaffer. She was dug. Set on the far side for Mooney. Dug and then she hit it back on the overpass. Patterson dug and that one hit the ceiling and fell on the Idelia side. Terrell dug up by Paulser, but they called Paulser for the lift. 12-4, now the count. Jump serve from Mooney. And sails long. Patterson on serve. Dug up in back row by Waitman. Terrell will set Schaefer. She was dug, and Otis will not be able to get it out of the net. Point to Lady Wolves. Good. Cano on 
one serve down by eight. And that won't help the cause as it's served right into the net. Mallory Noble will serve it up, leading by nine. Cano steps in to bump up the set. That was Schaefer blocked by Davis, and then the return will go out of bounds. It's a 10-point lead for Otis here in set number two. Cano handles the serve. Schaefer will set it over. In the middle, Palzer, and no touch at the net, and that one went too long. Janae Terrell, handled by Noble, set for Schaffer, off of the dig attempt by Mooney, and out of play. Schaffert reached to get on top of that one in. He's got a good amount of pace on it. Davis will hit it long on the serve. Got it back to t under double digits. It's down to nine, 16 to seven. Reagan Schaefer will punch the serve over. Patterson gets it up. Noble will set it. And then Paulzer will just bump it over. Waitman will set it outside for Mooney. It goes left-handed through the double block and down. Schaefer still on serve. There's a little off speed overpass by Paulzer, then put back down on the joust by Kylie Kuntz. Shafford serve popped up by Schaefer. Waitman will set it in the middle. Divator, too tall, and out. Shafford again, this one will go soft. Divator got it up, shoots it over. Bumped up by Shafford. Outside, Patterson blocked by Divator. They'll set Paulser this time. She goes angle and too far, but We've got, I believe, Idelia in the net. Yep, a net violation against Idelia. Keep Shafford on serve. Schaefer couldn't handle that one. He puts it to a 12-point advantage. Again, serve Schaefer, overpass. Patterson will set it up into the middle. Paulzer dug up by Schaefer. Set far side for Mooney, dug by Schaffert. Near side set for Patterson, dug by Cano. Waitman will send it outside for Mooney and just misses the sideline on the angle shot. 13 point advantage now for Otis. Shafford again serves Schaefer. Waitman will set middle. Divator reaches off the block. Hustle, sprawl, but no, the ball will hit the floor. Koontz hit the deck trying to keep it alive, but not much help after that. Waitman serve, popped up by Shafford. Koontz will send it for Paulzer, and again, Idelia in the net. I believe that one was on Mooney. That gives the serve to Paulzer. Popped up by Wireman. And second pass hit by Waitman. Took the play out of bounds. Paulzer drives one deep. That one handled by Mooney. Waitman will set middle. Divator reaching off the tip. Dug up by Shafford, near side set, Patterson off speed, dug by Waitman, pucked alive, and then Mooney on the free ball. Set in the middle, Mount Noble, dug by Schaefer, again hit the cross beam and onto the floor on the Idelia side, and the Lady Bulldogs with set point. No, 
Palzer off speed and the ace off of the diving attempt by Wireman. 25-9, set number two in the books for the Lady Bulldogs. We'll be back for third set action in a little bit here from Otis High School on this big time small town media production of Class 1A District 5 Volleyball Tournament action on ColoradoPreps.tv and Chassa.tv. With more than 30 years in business, Pro Sports is the only place teams need to go to outfit for this season. A complete supplier of team athletic apparel, teams get their uniforms and equipment at a team discounted price. Outfit your team with Pro Sports, located in downtown Sterling, but a proud supplier to teams from all across Colorado. Pro Sports, offering team discounts. Call now, 970-522-8545 and outfit your team today. Pro Sports, your team source. YW Electric Association of Akron is your touchstone energy cooperative with rebate programs on energy efficient appliances, water heaters, and more 2012 and 2013 are your years to upgrade your home. Log on to ywelectric.coop for available rebates. Sending all Washington and Yuma County student athletes good luck from YW Electric Association. Tune in to KNEC 100.9, 104.7 King FM, or log on to coloradopreps.tv and help YW Electric cheer on your local team. Once again, the teams opting not to use the uh, full layover between sets. It will be Idalia on the serve to get things started here in set number three. They trail Otis two sets to none. Reagan Schaefer will get us underway. She drives that one, popped up by Schaffer. Backside set for Palzer, blocked, put over by Schaffer. Divator in the middle. Noble got to it, but couldn't handle it. And for the first time this morning, Idelia will break out on top. Schaefer dug up by Palzer, set far side, Patterson. Doug by Schaefer, set near side for Mooney, and she's got one down. 2-0 start for Idelia. Patterson off speed, popped up by Waitman. Wireman will set it near side for Mooney. This time at cross angle hit. Too sharp and into the net. Balls are served, dug up by Cano over pass, put back in play. Waitman just set it over. Near side set for Noble off the dig attempt and out. Ties us at two. are on serve. Dug up by Cano. Back row set for Divator. She was dug. Far side, Patterson. And Schaefer got to it, but could not get a pass to anybody else. The lead goes to Otis. Wireman now out for Mooney. Goes cross court. Popped up by Schaffer, and then Patterson attack blocked by Divator, hit over by Kuntz. It'll be Divator out of the middle, blocked. And Schaefer, it'll, Waitman just bumps it over on the free ball. Far side set, Patterson blocked by Divator, and then a lift on Otis, ties us at three. Waitman towing the service line. Drives that one off the net, popped up by Palzer. Set near side, Patterson. She'll tip it over the block and down. Oh, 
Coons drives one, popped out by Mooney. A scramble as it hit the ceiling, and that one will end up in a point for Otis. That serve handled by Wireman. Waitman will set it in the middle. Divator off the net, popped up by Kuntz. Set outside for Patterson. She had nothing but a tip there. Mooney will swing, blocked. Set middle, Divator reaching Doug by Shafford. Back set for Davis, and she'll get that down in front of a sprawling Sierra Wireman. Lead grows to three for Otis. Here early in set number three. Coons sends that one too long. Side out, Lady Wolves. Divator, ready to pop one into play. Drives one, handled by Palzer. Set quickly in the middle for Noble. Popped up on a pancake. Back row by Schaefer, but Waitman able to get the free ball over. And that'll send the serve to Patterson. That short serve on the line, handled, not handled, rather, by Wireman shanked it into the crowd. It's an 8 4 advantage for Otis. Short serve popped up by Waitman. Helling will set it outside for Mooney. Dug in the back row by Palzer. Outside set for Shaffert was Doug. Near side, Mooney popped up. Still alive. Shaffert will drive it over off the block of Terrell and to the floor. Looked like Idalia would gain the point. Otis Scrambling kept it alive and got the point themselves. And then Patterson will give the point back as she serves it out of play. Kristen Mooney, jump serve into the net. Didn't quite have the toss she needed on that one. I'll give it to Noble. She'll lollipop one over, dug up by Waitman. Bumped over by Schaefer. Noble was, or rather, Kuhn set it in the middle for Palzer. She tipped it over, dug up. Now Schaefer, big swing and down. We saw Schaefer get a couple of hits like that in set number one. Not a lot since. Cano trailing by four. She'll Send one high, dug up by Shafford. Back set for Patterson off the net and down in front of Schaefer. Patterson using the net tape to her advantage on that one. We'll give the serve to Davis, leading by five. Handled by Mooney. Will be set up near side for Schaefer off the block, dug up by Patterson. And... Some miscommunication by Otis will cost them the point. And Janae Terrell punches one over, popped up by Shafford. She'll get the set. And I'm not sure if that one ever got high enough for the block, but it was in place. I doubt you had a double set there, and that ball wouldn't have got through it no matter what. Coons will go on to Waitman will give a chance to swing and drive it long. Waitman primarily serving as the setter. Got a chance to take a swing. Shaffert serve popped up by Mooney. Will be bumped over by Cano. Flager then set into the middle for Palzer. She was blocked at the net by Divator. Patterson was dug up by Cano. Middle attack, Divator popped up by Kuntz. Outside set for Patterson, off speed, down in front of two sprawling Lady Wolves for the point. 13-8 is the advantage. Shaffert drives one deep and two deep on the serve. That error will give it back to 
keep the Lady Wolves and Reagan Schaefer. She'll drive one into the middle, popped up by Schaefer. Pauls her, shoots one across for Patterson. And Schaefer, sticking her arms out, got a piece of it, but it went off the back wall, giving the point to Otis. Emily Pauls her now. They'll punch one softly over the net and down in front of Weyerman for the ace. There's a little more pace dug up by Cano. Hammered over on the bump by Divator. Sent that one about six feet long. Leads up to seven now. Cano can handle that serve and she'll be replaced by Riley Schaefer. Saw this happen in the first set and Paulzer went immediately at Schaefer. She'll do it again. Schaefer gets that one up. Waitman sets it near side. Mooney cross court dug up by Schaefer. Flagger will pop one over on the set. Middle swing and Divator dug. Set outside, Patterson blocked. Divator pops it back up, but out of play. 18-9 is the Otis advantage. Wireman can't handle that serve. And Paulser on a service run here. Has it up to 10. And it goes opposite side on that one. Dug up by Schaefer. Near side swing for Mooney into the net and down. On the Idalia side, that's a 20 to nine lead for Otis. Paulser goes right back at Riley Schaefer. Bumped over by Divator. Koontz will set it far side for Patterson. Big swing dug up in the back row by Reagan Schaefer. Tipped over by Waitman. Noble out of the middle, popped up by Reagan Schaefer. Near side for Mooney. Mooney dug by Schaefer, far side. That's Patterson, off speed, popped up by Waitman. Set coming near side for Mooney, dug up by Schaefer. Back set for Noble, dug by Reagan Schaefer. Holzer will set it up. Patterson dug by Mooney. They'll set Mooney again, near side, big reach, popped up. Koontz tips, tips one and gets it down in front of Waitman. Best rally of the day. Point goes to Otis. Paulser drives this one at Riley Schaefer and shanks it for the point. Substitutions coming into the Otis lineup for the first time today. Number 13, Kylie Boland and... Number 33, Lizette Burgess. Paulser on serve, just three points away from a match victory. That one handled by Riley Schaefer. Back set for Divator in the middle. And into the block of Burgess, and it'll come down in Burgess's lap. That breaks the service run by Paulser. Puts it in the hands of Waitman. Powers one down, popped up by Paulser. Back set for Patterson. Just inside the line. Now Boland will get the serve. Two points away from the victory. The left-hander up, popped up by Mooney. Middle for Divator, blocked. Popped over by Mooney. Patterson will pop one back. Dug up by Schaefer. Mooney reaches. Popped up by Shafford. Back set for Davis. She's dug up. Mooney again. Big swing into the block and down on the Idelia side. I believe that was Burgess with the block. And Otis with a pocket full of match points. Nolan drives some wireman deep. Near side for Helling. Down, oh, out of play. Just missed the back line. No touch at the net. And that will do it. 
Otis wins the first match of the day in a three-set sweep. 25-11, 25-9, and 25-10. That will conclude our broadcast of today's first match here from Otis. We'll be back with you in about 15 minutes as we bring you Idelia and High Plains here on Big Time Small Town Media's production of Class 1A District 5 Volleyball for ColoradoPreps.tv and Chassa.tv.